Hey, welcome back, Baywolf Nation. It's I'm Baywolf back at it with another video. Today's video is gonna be an installed video. What I'm installing is the work racing. This is the intake grate that will fit uh, a RXPX 300. So this will fit a RXPX a 2012 and up. So this would be all the way to a 2020. Um, and probably even if they don't change it for 2021. Um, from what my research is, this was the best intake rate on the market of comparison of people using them and seeing what happened. Some of them, I won't name names, actually slow down the ski with changing them. Um, work racing claims you get a couple more miles per hour out of using this. We'll see what happens um, with it, but definitely it's a must to change the intake rate. So what I'm gonna do right now is Take out the existing one. The hard thing is filming underneath. There's not a lot of room uh, with this. It's barely enough to like move your hands up uh, to be doing it. So I will not film anything underneath. It's quite easy. Uh, you just gotta remove the bolts out of the OEM one. Then the requiring um, when you install this is to use marine silicone sealant. This one's a clear one. And uh, from what I'm looking is they're saying to be adding it kind of all around like kind of in here I'm guessing all around in these areas is where they're requiring it to be um, and then I'm gonna use blue uh, Loctite with the stock bolts they're staying to stick it into where the bolts go I rather just use blue Loctite because I'd rather be able to get this back out I know so if you put the marine silicone sealing on it's gonna be really hard to take back off um, which is a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, the, I guess my opinion is you don't want it to fall out. I know that some of the newer CDUs have been known that they haven't tightened the bolts down enough and that these are known to the stock one will come out. I've removed the stock one before um, and not had an issue re-putting it in. I did not use marine silicone sealant. I just used blue Loctite on the bolts. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take it out and then show you guys a really in-depth comparison because definitely, um, I'm very curious myself to see what the comparison is between the two. Uh, this is a nice piece and it's not that crazy expensive. And, um, from what I've read and that's kind of where I went off of because these, the RXPX has been out since 2012. They've definitely changed stuff to all the years with it. So if I've seen stuff where all the people bought all the other ones and didn't have to do the comparison, it actually saves me some money of not going out there. Um, Cause I think technically there's only a couple of these out there. One company's out of business now, so you can't get it. It's very hard to find. Um, and then you got uh, work and you got paper racing uh, that's home. I went with this one is from all the positive reviews everybody said with running it. So, it's not a coral underneath. Unhook the bolts and then I'll show you guys the comparison. But also too, if you're new to the channel, uh, I'm Beowulf, I make all different jet ski videos, a lot of how-to install videos. Also too, hit the subscribe button. If you're new, existing subscribers, hit the bell notification. You get notified as soon as it uploads, uploaded. On people using your mobile phones, there's other things in the settings that you'd have to do to get than just the bell notification to be notified if you're watching um, by your phone. So welcome, let's get this rocking and rolling. All right, so that you obviously know this is on the left is the OEM one. I don't know throughout the years if they have changed what the OEM one's like, but this is what one looks like out of a 2018 RXPX 300. Obviously you can already see visibly how the work one is a lot bigger. Um, it is definitely a completely different in size uh, and design than what the OEM one is. Let me turn it sideways, see if I can get it to line it up as close as I can. That also shows you guys too, the size, the thickness and the height is totally different with the work one. Definitely you can tell this is a, going to be a big improvement um, over the OEM one, definitely. Um, 
and I'll turn it the other way so you guys can see the underneath too. Uh, you can tell with the fin, a lot different in size. Um, also, you can see too why it's so crucial with the silicone putting a lot in here because see this is a part of the intake grate. There are these little like holes there's another piece underneath the hull I don't know if this is different too for being a 2018 and older RXPX's um, but this silicone is went up into these holes kind of holding it in place it wasn't sticking it on but it definitely was another area of holding it so it shows how real important it is putting a lot of uh, silicone especially into this area to make sure it holds in a place um, I think this this whole area is definitely you got to be putting some in there a little bit more because it's going to fill in up into these holes the other thing too is when you add the silicone make sure you have some type of uh, towel something probably like a shop towel shop rags don't use anything that like you can't throw away because obviously you can't wash it so um, to wipe away any of the excess silicone you have to add so I mean I'd put some around in here see how this is a little different where you'd be putting in there so you kind of put it in there it says to put in the holes I'm not going to put in the holes because I want to be able to take the bolts out and that's why I'm using the blue Loctite and the other people do different things this is how I'm going to install it but you can see like how much it's different the intake rate is it's wow it's unbelievable I might do too, is just a pre go underneath the ski and um, just see it fits up correctly um, before adding the silicone on. Just see how everything fits up is probably what I'm going to do uh, first, just to verify everything um, because it is way <laughs> different in size. It's unbelievable. I also plan on doing in the future um, is it installing an intake grate on my 2019 uh, Yamaha GP1800R. It already has a, a different ride plate on the back the 2019 is an updo it's actually a Riva uh, racing ride plate that's on the back uh, when you buy them from Riva they're black and this uh, they're differently finished but it's the exact same ride plate um, so I'm probably gonna do a Riva racing intake rate with the GP is what my plan is to just match them all up uh, now be in a future video I haven't yet ordered the part or anything but it's definitely something in the future stump is coming for the GP 1800R I'm also on what I'm going to be doing with the Kawasaki SXR. I definitely want to change the uh, intake grate, the ride plate, and the Sponsons on the side of this. So I'm definitely in the market of figuring out what I'm going to be doing with that ski too. But man, I'll tell you, this is it. I I I was going to be really shocked at how different these are, and um, it is hugely different. I mean, you definitely can tell this is going to make some type of improvement. So I'm going to install this and then also too, I'm going to be doing a ride video soon. Uh, we had like really warm weather and then we've had like flooding with rain. Yeah, the temperature kind of dropped. I don't know what's going on, um, but I'm going to go to a different boat ramp, um, different launch area too, and try out some new spots around my area that I scoped out a couple days ago. But definitely I'm going to be doing it. This video is all about an install video. Definitely the next video will be taking this ski out and seeing how it hooks up now having a different intake grate on it. See the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Fit it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. All right, so good news. I did pre test fit it in, fits in perfectly fine. That's just, I just wanted to double check before adding the silicone on. I'm going to add the silicone on and show you kind of how I added it and then quickly get underneath there and install it. I will not bring the camera because I'm barely, I can fit down there. It just, you won't see anything. It's going to be. It's not gonna be that fun. I, I, I'll bring my phone down there. Whatever the phone records is kind of what you guys are gonna see. Not bringing my whole camera down in there and getting all messy. So, um, time to add the silicone. All right, so that tube exploded in the back. It opened up. So it's very hard applying the last part. Also too, it's really, really toxic smell and you really need to have ventilation. I actually had the garage door half opened up, bringing fresh air. Do not open that tube unless you got fresh air coming in uh, and for whatever reason, it broke at the back of the seal, so it get, like 
Oh yeah, I didn't even get to use. I tried applying as much as I could down, but uh, this is as good as it's gonna be. I think it's adequate of what it's needed. Now I'm gonna quickly uh, get this thing installed before it dries. I'm just gonna show you how tight of a spot I barely can film. Um, but this is what it looks like installed. Also too, when you install this, you wanna make sure periodically check the bolts and tighten them because they can come loose and you should be doing that even on your OEM system. But it does say that in the inst install thing, it's kind of a crucial thing. I got them kind of like pretty snug on there. You don't wanna be like trying to tighten them so tight they're gonna break. You don't want them loose. But then also too is, you know, like the next time I ride it, I take out the water, I'm gonna check it again. And after like a month or two, I'll check it again. Big important thing. I'm really shocked if it's gonna be going anywhere, but it does say it and I would recommend checking that out. Cause the bolts, the bolts in the back of the intake rate are not that long. The front one is super long. The other ones are real short. It would be smart just checking those, making sure they're not coming loose. All right, so that's how you install that. It's uh, definitely, it's a, that silicone, marine silicone. You gotta be real careful with that. I used numerous different gloves uh, and I wore a sweatshirt too when I did it. So I made sure I didn't get any of my wrist. Uh, when it exploded, it did get all on my wrist and I kept my hands under some hot water. I uh, kept on washing them multiple times to really get the stuff off. And if you quickly try to get off your skin, it's good because I think it had a warning label, you know, irritation if it gets on your skin. Definitely do not have some type of circulating of air. You don't want to be breathing that stuff in. Um, but took out the old uh, OEM one. I don't know, I'll hold on to it. Usually every part two, what I do is everything I remove out of the skis, I box it up. I actually put it all up in my attic. So I have pretty much every OEM part, whatever reason, if I need it, I have it. I actually do when I sold my RXTX, I kept all the OEM parts. And I'm pretty positive they're all still up in my attic of everything I ripped out of OEM uh, too. So it's just, you know, you hold on to it. You never know, you gotta put it back in or whatever. It's better to have it than just recycling it or throwing in the trash, but uh, also too, check out the I Am Beowulf merch at IamBeowulf.com. Also too, I have an Amazon store that has all different types of stuff on there. Make sure to visit that too at Amazon.com slash shop slash I Am Beowulf. Man, another mod on the checklist. On my 2018 RXPX 300. Definitely I'm excited to see what this mod will be doing for the ski improving stuff, um, I definitely, I really like the ski and I'm hoping this will be like the big secret of getting this thing, um, not just accelerating good, just all around handling uh, a little bit better. I still have to install the work racing uh, sponsons. They were missing some hardware with it. Um, I got them for a really good deal. Actually, I found them on eBay and a really good deal. I'm telling you, killer deal. I don't think they're the most newest one that's out there that they sell. Um, to me, that really doesn't bother me. As long as it's um, it works, I pretty much think they'll all work the same. I don't know if the newer design is, you know, how much it's, I think it's the sponsors are all the same size. Um, so what I'm planning on doing is I, I had to order all new hardware because uh, it was missing like a washer, or I think I was missing two washers and one bolt and they all have to be stainless steel. And then what I did is I ordered, I had, it was hard to find, but I found them online uh, where I could buy these washers, the sizes. Luckily they said in the um, install thing of what sizes they were, so I knew what to get. And I replaced, I got a whole new set where they're for sure won't corros uh, corrosive uh, stain. There's different stainless steel ones. I was not aware of that. so. I got whatever the best ones are that be against a salt water. So I'm just gonna replace all of them even though I have them. I like to see if they're the same, but hey, who really cares? So I'm waiting to install that, but also too, I said in the past video, I want to install that mod first, see how it handles, and then do the next thing. The last thing we do is just buy a bunch of stuff and put it all in there. You don't know where to go. Um, but also too, if you're into modifying your jet ski, I think the biggest thing is crucial you need to do first is handling and improvement so like the intake rate uh the ride plate problems with sea dews because they have closed loop cooling you really can't change the ride plate on those unless you're getting rid of the closed loop cooling 
but on Yamaha and Kawasaki's, it's the right plate. Sponsons, so you get kind of the mastering of how it handles. Definitely getting a grippier seat, like the jet trim seat where it's real uh, grippy. This, there's no grip. I mean, it just slides. That, see, it just my hand just goes like this. Not a problem. I'll show you guys with this grippy material I have with jet trim. Look at this. I'm pushing. My hand's not moving. Look. This. See? Slide. This? I'm stuck. <laughs> it's like I'm a gecko. It's like... I mean, this is putting... I'm actually putting force. So my hand is... See, it is moving. If I put the force like that, like a... Gone. Grip. Like, it's... You're holding on. So... <laughs> this is probably like the step of going and moving on. That's what the hardest thing was with riding the Yamaha GP1800R. Is there is no grip onto the seat. So I have this set up the sponsons in race mode. And I have my hands just, just flying all around. So, uh, and this is even, it looks grippy with this carbon fiber look. Uh, but it is not grip. It's similar to how that material is. So a seat is a must on the list for this. But that's kind of what I think you do. Before you go all crazy, modifying it, voiding your warranty, do little things like that that are, you'll more master the handling and work your way up. It's the end of the video. I'm Beowulf. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Be driven to win. Remember every day is Earth Day. I'm Beowulf. I'll be back at it the next one. Peace out, Beowulf Nation.